Oh, a wild stroke from Alex Stewart. He walks down with some impatience, I should think. This is the first really poor and bad shot he's played. It's just a waft at the ball. Yes, and Stewart then played very well to the end for his 19 not out. A total of 2.31 for four with five more runs added to take it up to that total at the end. Gooch 60 and Morris 44, an outstanding opening partnership against some fiery bowling. The West Indians really bowl well. I thought a superb performance today from Kirtley Ambrose. 24 over six maidens and two for 48. A wicket to Walsh who also bowled well and Patterson bowled very fast all day and got absolutely no return. None for 67 with Marshall, none for 31, and Hooper, who spun the ball a little, one for 23 from 16 overs, a very good performance. And uh, it is Ambrose coming in to Smith. Now that got up uh, from, well, it was only just short of a good length. Smith was playing across the crease, might even have been playing half forward. And that flew. Yes, that, um, that wasn't a short ball at all. I think it caught up from a very uh, good length. That is a cracking shot. He is so strong on that square cut. front of point away through cover I can assure you that is a very difficult stroke to play against Kirtley Ambrose so I think Richie this is a shot of a guy in form and very confident for that but it was also well bowled and cut back pretty sharply at him up comes the 250 and that is close it hit him quite high but he was crouching and bending and kitchen umpire kitchen had to decide just on one thing the height patrick patterson's got a very strong action a very unusual action of the feet in his delivery stride classic action is to drop the back foot parallel with the crease he doesn't do that oh he's got him what a catch there by richardson and Alex Stewart goes in a way that that's not the first time he's done it against the West Indies. A loose shot outside off stump, cracked the ball away and brilliantly picked up by Richardson. That's the end of Stewart. It's a good innings. And England now 263 for five. Yes, it is a good innings by Alex Stewart. But to get out this way from a ball that you're trying to score off, you're doing all the hard work. Well, there's the man. And just watch and listen to this. reception you might get from that in this match is when Viv Richards walks in two years out of international cricket first ball for almost exactly two years his last test match for England was in the middle of August at Trent Bridge two years ago Oh, 
that one actually nipped back. Good shot. Cheers of relief as the ball's hit straight for the first time of the morning. You don't get many enough volleys, so you can't afford to miss out when one comes along, and uh, Robbie Smith managed to get onto that one and get three runs. that to Dennis Lilly and the Australian driver here some years ago seen him do it on other grounds that's the first time we've seen it this morning he's launched himself at that one and here's one of his old adversaries Malcolm Marshall <laughs> 300 300 for five, England. Yes, another milestone to, uh, for, for England. I think um, Captain Greenwood should be very pleased with that, um, that score. Don't think uh, Courtney will be very popular for that, other than with Robin Smith. The long half volley, absolutely straight and straight driven. 2,000 runs in Test match cricket for Robin Smith. It's a fine performance, particularly when you take into account what a poor series he had against uh, Australia out in Australia. It was astonishing uh, the way he slipped his form slipped 238 runs at 29 there and yet he still averages over 50 in all test matches that's a good shot that will race away over the outfield it's a bit downhill there no chance of cutting that off Now that was, it was a no ball, but just look at this for a, a delivery and the movement away from the bat off the pitch. Malcolm Marshall really, really angry with himself there. He's been making the ball swing into the right hand of batsman and then this one, he makes go straight on. Lovely cutter just seams out, just a fraction, holding its line and it's a no ball. What frustration. That's a great shot. Well, this crowd might have been silent watching Malcolm Marshall bowl at Ian Bolton, but they've suddenly come alive for this shot. What a cracker. Only that naught in the second innings at Headingley to mar that sequence. That'll be it. Great effort. Crowd just don't applaud, they cheer as well, and so they should. Both of them turning into three runs. And listen to this for a reception for Robin Smith. Everybody appreciative of that. Is 600 for England, second against the West Indies. And to have already got 600s in his first 27 test matches. He's on the way to a long and illustrious career. Splendid innings. That's out. OBW to Marshall. I suspect beaten by the swing when uh, we see the replay. Mark Marshall and Geoffrey Dujon get up for the appeal. Well, obviously, just getting a little bit too far over. Causing to play a little bit across the line there, coming from second slip towards mid-wicket with the bat. 
But that's been a marvellous innings by Smith. He's been positive right from first ball. He's taken the fight to them. And a marvellous innings by Robbie Smith again. New batsman is Chris Lewis. Now, Viv Richards is going off. When I said uh, with that dismissal of Robin Smith that uh, Richards appeared to be doing something else, in fact, he did. He was clutching his knee or his shin. And uh, he's now being brought off by the West Indian physiotherapist, Dennis Waite. Keep your eye on Richards, top left. He's already feeling his right knee. And when the dismissal comes, when the umpire gives him out, he is still bending down. The reason for that is that he's just been stung by a bee on the right knee. There you are, not out 20, 68 balls and two hours of batting with just one four. How many times is he in both and batted for two hours and it just won four? Well, that was well bowled, that quicker ball. Both of them won't have seen too much of that, but he'll store it away. I've seen Hooper have success with that ball before. There's hardly any discernible change in action. by the fielding no more than that it's gone stump bail goes off both of them is gone out for 31 it was the bounce of the dead at end it was a bouncer that didn't seem to get up all that much. Both of them might have changed his mind in mid-stroke and then stumbled in trying to evade the ball. And he's certainly annoyed with himself, but uh, he'd say himself, I think, to start playing shots. And this was a bouncer, he goes for the shot, but didn't really get in a good position, wasn't looking at it, overbalances, just takes that one bail off with his leg, almost at the time. As Richards comes on, so Simmons goes off. Now Lewis is four, and the new batsman, Philip De Freitas, won't be facing, he's at the non-striker's end. That's a fine shot. Um, he's got his feet nice at that ball he just waited for it as a matter of fact it came in slightly to him and uh, it's a very good shot with Chris Lewis it's a good shot sort of room that uh, you can't afford to give with uh, a field setting like this simply a deep long off and a square cover a brilliant ball, huge appeal and he's gone umpire holder didn't raise his finger whether waiting just for De Freitas to go or wasn't sure but uh, De Freitas made his mind up for him good piece of bowling from Walsh nice catch by Dujon, the end of De Freitas caught at the wicket he's gone for 7 and England 386 for 8 yes um, I suppose the usual pattern here where uh, he's he played very well, the, uh, the other bowlers that uh, he faced, and then suddenly a new bowler comes on and has a little fresher and put a little bit extra in this ball and you know, perhaps catching a little bit too relaxed. Well, 
He was aiming for a particular part of the oval. It was more inclined towards the gasometer than the pavilion where it finished, but it's worth four. A touch from Geoffrey Boycott, but um, tail enders have different horizons, Geoffrey. They must have different thoughts as well. There's a real old fashioned wipe at the ball, a top edge. Four runs for England with a big slice of luck. Just high to Richardson's, slightly to the right. Got two hands to it, couldn't hold it. Already taken one thrilling catch this morning. That's 400. And, uh, well, the crowd think that that is a big achievement, as indeed it is. Courtney Walsh is the bowler from uh, the Vauxhall end. Chris Lewis taking strike. Oh, good shot. He waited for that in delightful fashion. Placed it perfectly. It was quite a deliberate placement. Super. Vivian Richards has picked up the wicket of David Lawrence. Lawrence could hardly believe it. Richards took it as a sharp chance. Courtney Walsh has another wicket. It's 411 for nine. There's that little bit of extra bounce again there. Just catching the shoulder of the bat there, Lawrence. Viv Richards making it look very easy at slip. Uh, Patrick Patterson uh, got the signal and he's ready and so is Philip Tufnell. Got it at the, uh, well, it might have been the third attempt, could have been the fourth. Desmond Haynes, the catcher. Patrick Patterson, a wicket with his first ball in the spell and Philip Tufnell out for two. The innings ends at 419. Well, it was a straightforward catch, a little bit backing away, the face open straight in, but uh, at the end, it was a brilliant catch. You see, uh, Tufnell doesn't really get into line. The right foot's well outside the uh, leg stump, so is the left. Face of the bat open, straightforward catch, but, well, he made it into a brilliant one at the finish. Juggle, 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 Desmond, but it all came up all right in the end. 419 with Tufnell out for two, eventually caught by Haynes of Patterson's bowling. So that's an excellent effort from England. Lovely innings from Robin Smith, a lot of courage there, a lot of marvellous stroke play, and uh, good performances from Stewart and Botham, 31 each, and Chris Lewis, only three short of a half century to follow on his good batting in the Edgbaston Test. The bowling figures, I thought the West Indies did a great job. Ambrose, three for 83 from 36 and eight maidens. Patterson, two for 87, coming back and getting uh, the wicket with the first ball of that spell. And Walsh, three for 91, bowled some excellent overs. Malcolm Marshall got the ball to swing out there, one for 62. And Carl Hooper, an extended spell there, 34 overs, one maiden and one for 78. That won't do him any harm in uh, his all-round career. So 419, so far as England are concerned, and that gives the bowlers something at which to bowl. The pitch is still very good, plenty of bounce there. We join it in the first over. Philip De Freitas is the bowler, three runs on the board, taking strike is Desmond Haynes. That's four. Haynes goes for the hook. This is 
what england don't want because if the west indies get off to a tear away start it's a very difficult thing for graham gooch to regain control and even with a big score in the bag it's uh, it's something he doesn't want from his bowl is this sort of length and width and four more now this is jeffrey where i I'd query, even with 400 on the board, a tactic which England have used for so often in this series, with or without runs, an absence of a third man. At this stage of the game, I wouldn't be too worried about that. You certainly want your catches up, but wherever you put the fielders, it's very important that the bowlers bowl well. Lovely shot. be very close yes it is that was quicker and it was straight I reckon it would have hit middle about halfway up Lawrence breaks through a very full length there from David Lawrence well pitched up then it shuffles across fractionally goes back towards the leg side just leaving his legs in line at wicket to wicket a very full length there was no problem with the ball going over the top of the stumps And we've just, uh, while all that was happening, seen one of the more brainless things you could ever see at a cricket ground with that uh, ridiculous, well, they call it the Mexican wave. But the spectators in that area have tossed all the rubbish they've uh, gathered during the day in the air, and it's now blowing across the ground and will hold up the game. Richie Richardson. To face David Lawrence. Safe, but he didn't get off the meat of the bat. Even so, it'll still just roll over the boundary at uh, Deep Ford Square. Fairly high to play the hook shot and got a slight top edge. He middled it sufficiently. Went away to mid wicket for four. in the air, Robert Smith has got it, takes it, and no ball has been called. Yeah, I think everything would have been played just the same whether no ball had been called or not. Slightly top edge like he did before when he went to Medwicket. I'm sure that Robin Smith didn't know. Top number two, Richardson. That's a beautifully struck shot by Richie Richardson. That's six all the way. Wonderful stroke. Well, it seemed as if Richie Richardson was looking for this ball, the first ball of the over. So quickly down the pitch with those dancing feet, and it's a lovely struck shot. So for the first time in the match, to great acclaim, Ian Botham is about to bowl. That's typical Botham. Yes. <laughs> you lucky thing, he says. Actually, well played. Oh, dropped him. Botham's first over. And a chance goes down. Graham Gooch at first slip. Three overs to go, and it's Tufnell to Richardson. Whoa, well, that was nearly a catch. Well, this was lovely bowling by Philip Tufnell. He did Richard Richardson in the flight. He wasn't quite to the pitch. Difficult chance to take. You've got to take them in Test match cricket. 
first Gooch and then Atherton, and you certainly do have to hang on to those catches at this level if you're to win matches. That 90 for one could so easily have been 90 for three. There were three more runs added after Atherton's drop. Bowling figures for England, Freitas done for 23, Lawrence one for 42, again expensive, but he got the breakthrough. And Tufnell done for 21, bowled very tidily and certainly turned the ball little. Ian Botham is in there with his magic, two overs, one maiden, and no wicket for four. Afternoon, but uh, they still have West Indies 90 for one, and uh, the West Indies side 329 runs behind.